My name is Josh Spurgeon and I'm an AI ML Ops Technical Specialist at IBM. I wanted to spend just a few minutes telling you about the recent changes to IBM software strategy, which includes a revamped platform approach. After a high level overview of the four platforms, I'm gonna dive a little bit deeper into one of those four platforms. I just mentioned platforms, so what exactly is that? Well, in this context, it's defined as a set of products that share buyers and users, deliver better together benefits, are simple to buy and use, are open to allow third-party integrations, and are led by one or more anchor products that are market leaders. It's a little bit of a word salad, but the core goal of this platform strategy is to create a clear connection between products, streamline the user's experience, make things simple, keep the focus on openness, and highlight the core products that can be absolute game changers for your enterprise. Those four platforms are hybrid cloud, transaction processing, automation, and data. In previous years, we often heard data and AI combined as a platform or pillar, but a key difference now is the infusion of core AI capabilities across all of the platforms to ensure that the products increasingly provide clients with the enhancements and features needed in this AI-focused world. What you see on the screen right now are the things that I want to come to your mind whenever you think of each of these four platforms. The last platform that we see to the far right side is data. And that's the one that I want to dive deeper into because, well, that's part of the world where I spend my day to day as an AI and ML ops technical specialist. At the end of the day, the data platform is all about accelerating productivity, especially AI productivity across your entire enterprise. From the AI tools and models you can work with, to the assistance that boosts your productivity, to the secure database and how those integrate across your organization. Before getting deep into the products, I wanted to share some example use cases where we see generative AI being used in the enterprise and how it's unlocking value for organizations. Those use cases are being shown here in three different pillars, customer experience, digital labor, and IT operations. For customer service, it's not just about deflecting calls. It's about making your agents more efficient, saving time, and ultimately giving your customers an even better experience. For digital labor, it's about taking the mundane and repetitive tasks across human resources, procurement, supply chain, and so on, and making those more efficient. For IT operations, it's about making it easier to modernize, making your developers more efficient, and even gaining a better understanding of your existing code base. For us at IBM, we consider ourselves to be client zero because we've actually used our own products internally for these exact same use cases, and we've seen extreme value with generative AI. We're on track to save around $3 billion from this alone. And if these things can scale to a company that's as large as IBM, I promise it can scale for any other organization as well. When we talk about AI as the building blocks for your company's future, we have to take a step back and start here at the center with the use case. If we take that use case and break it apart, we have five critical elements, assistants, agents, models, data, and governance. We could spend five, 10, or 20 minutes of each of these, but we'll save that deeper dive for another time. When you think of assistance, please don't think of a chatbot that we've all had horrible experiences with. Think of an AI-powered assistant that is helping you accomplish some kind of goal, whether that's assisting a contact center agent or helping a developer write complex code. The next evolution of the assistant is agentic AI, which I promise you'll hear about plenty in 2025. To keep it simple, think of multiple assistants or agents working together to help you accomplish your goal. Each of those have specialized domains. So maybe one's great at booking flights, another at finding hotels, and another with trip recommendations. Based on this input, I'm giving the agent about my vacation, you might have multiple things happening at the same time across different specialized agents who are working together to provide better outcomes for, you know, let's say the vacation that you're planning. Of course, these assistants and agents need the right models. IBM has been preaching this concept of smaller built for purpose models for years, and I think people are finally catching on. So when you think of IBM and models, I want you to think of openness, flexibility, performance, and trust. Without data, there's no AI. And for you to have a successful AI story that drives value, you need to use your enterprise data in a smart way while overcoming challenges around data access and complexity. And now that all the other blocks are in place, the last thing we need to do is make sure everything is properly governed. It's not just about avoiding risk. 
Governance is essential to scale successfully because there's a lot of complexity to address, and that's just increasing pretty much every day. We'll end here with a look at the data platform that is focused on how to shift you to an AI-first organization by enabling productivity across your entire enterprise. I prefer to focus on individual use cases instead of products, but this at least gives you a little bit of extra insight into some of the products and how they align across the data platform. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video about IBM's revamp platform approach. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Until next time.